Well, great racing from those young Minimax racers there. And next out on track, it's the turn of Honda Cadets. Leading the championship coming is this one, is that man there, Cart 199, Kenzo Craigie, after what was a dominant performance, wasn't it, in Raura last time out. Let's find out how he's qualified and what the rest of them are looking like as we go and join your race commentators, Jake and Alan. Well, it's going to be Rocco Shenton and Jarrett Clark on the front row of the grid for the Honda Cadet final. Kenzo Craigie and Kai Clark in front of Noah Barham and Finley Lines. Charlie Warren and Charlie Wolfitt rounding out the top ten. It's Ethan Griffiths and Rio Licata. Then Royotaro Sakai and Charlie King from Oliver Majewski and Ryan White. Then Jaden Mead and Kian Bernard. Bella Fairclough, a tough grid position for her, 17th alongside Sam Mott. Oliver Spencer will want to make progress from 19th. Then Jack Price in front of Thomas Hill. Everybody on wet tyres, a little bit tricky in terms of weather for the start. Nobody's been able to get the slick tyres on ready for the start of this one so let's see how it all plays out here we go good start from the pole position for Rocco Shenton he's going to try and squeeze Jarrett Clark through turn one nicely handled as around the outside that looked like Kai Clark trying to make good progress and now they're going to nick their way through Clark is up to third position off the start so a very good launch as the Honda Cadets work their way through the first chicane everybody's kept it clean on the opening lap the rule is still the same you can't win on lap one but you can definitely rule but that's someone spacing in the wrong direction in the middle of the pack there i think we had a spinner towards the back of the field unfortunately but certainly for second place rocco shenton has now lost out so he is down to second position as jarrett clark has hit the front you can see that there's definitely a distinct dry line we've got a new race leader yep, who shenton comes through pit back bank. in oh goodness me all three of them ran wide there that could have been very nasty indeed Faster frenetic, sounds like Honda Cadet to me. This is going to be a race of a test of steely nerves as Finley Lines runs a little bit wide. Up the inside is going to come the 47 of Ryotaro Sakai off the final turn. And they're going to dive into the first corner. It's Shenton from Clark and Clark. Kai ahead of Jarrett. And Noah Barham and Charlie Wolf. Look how tight it is up the inside. That's going to be Barham getting through into third place and Clark into the lead. So Kai Clark in the 67 hits the front. That's the third different leader because Jarrett Clark has led. Rocco Shenton has led. And now Kai Clark. Here comes Rocco Shenton back into the lead again. Great battles for the lead. Everybody skating around the circuit trying to find good pace. That's Charlie Warren behind the top five and Bella Fairclough. Goodness me, she's up in about seventh position. She's she started done. way back in the pack. P17, Jake. That is uh, the Japanese driver, Ryoturo Sakai. And uh, he's upper place on Finley Lines. And it's, it's worth mentioning, Jake, as well. If you want to race in UKC from anywhere in the world in 2023, get in touch via the website, www.ukcglobal.com. And the uh, championship will accommodate you. You don't need an international license. You just need to prove you have experience in karting. Another change for the lead, Jake. Yes, indeed. That's Noah Barham hitting the front. So that's that, four different race leaders is that now. Bella in six. It is fifth. Bella. No, she's in fifth place. How on Take earth? That fourth. How on earth has she done that? So Bella Fairclub now in fourth position. Make that third. She's going to dive in on the inside here. Is she on slick tyres? I think she's the only one, you know. Look, she's rolled the dice. This is absolute smarts from Bella Fairclough as we watch the battle between Wolfit and Warren. Chucked up behind his Finley lines, trying to get through both of them. Oh, superb from Finley lines. Three into one, it goes perfectly. And in third place, that is Bella Fairclough. Tucks up behind Barham and Shenton. Don't think she's on... Slick is she on slick tyres? No, on she's slick not. Tires. She is on wet tyres, but I tell you what, <laughs> I'll tell you this for now, for a fact, she is running super low tyre pressures. The one thing you don't want in these conditions, because most of the, there's a distinct dry line that there's enough damp around. What you don't want is higher tyre pressures because the blocks on the tread will start to wear and they'll start to move around and it'll start to slide around. So she is running very low tyre pressures, I can guarantee that. You can't get away from the fact that she's gone from 17th to 3rd in a matter of 5 oh. laps. Oh, Finley Lines! So close, the battle with Kai Clark and they've ended up tangling with each other. So this is a bit of a mess, unfortunately, now. How did that start? Lines looked for the move on the inside and the 67 turned in. Well, it's tough to know who's to blame in that one. Looks like a racing incident that they're going to have to unpick. Kai Clark is pretty clear on who he thinks. But the Bella Fairclough is going for the battle for the victory. She and she's taken the lead. Oh, my goodness. Bella Fairclough from 17th to 1st in less than six minutes. That is absolutely unbelievable. How on earth think, has I'm she done that? I'm just trying to look now. 
No, they're definitely wet tyres she's I mean, got on. Now Jaden Mead is coming forward. The privateer has sliced through to second place. Another great tactical decision for Jaden Mead there. He must also be running fairly low pressures as Noah Barra in third position. How has Bella Fairclough done that? Yeah, the interesting thing is Rocco Shenton in fourth place. Now he's he's we know he's a serial front runner, a serial winner. He's in the same team as Bella Fairclough, but I'm not sure who the mechanics oh, are. Oh, Finley Lines is in trouble. Finley Lines is pitting. He's retiring. Now, has he had a black flag for that earlier incident? Not sure, but Finley's out, unfortunately. Well, further into the race, and you can see that Fairclough is not only leading, but has actually got herself a bit of a gap built up here. Now, as extraordinary. I, as, I was, as I was saying, Jake, you know, are the dads the mechanics deciding tyre pressures? Because you would think they'd both come out of the zip team, Rocco Shenton and Bella Fairclough, you'd think they'd have the same tyre pressures. However, maybe not, depending oh. on who the mechanic is. Right, Hataro Sakai's just picked up two places in one go there. He's managed to get the move there. Firstly on Rocco Shenton, I think it is, as they come through. Oh, sorry, first of all on Jarrett Clark and then on Kenzo Craigie. So now Sakai finds himself in P5. Excellent run from the Japanese talent. He's a, he's a top driver as well, Jake. He's been coming over to the UK from Japan for a few years now. This is the first time we've seen him at UKC. Hopefully we'll see him again next year. But, this is, um, this he's is obviously a quality driver. We've seen him doing pretty well in other championships. And this is the battle for fourth position. Sakai has now tried his best to get to the front of that little gaggle. Rocco Shenton is there with him and there's a great squabble. Craigie, Griffiths, Clark, Wolfitt, Warren and Majewski all having a terrific tussle as at the front of that little train is Kenzo Craigie. He's in B6 at the moment. Bella Fairclough is just nailing these 42 second laps. She's just disappearing out front. Look, she's four seconds clear of Jaden Mead. I think we're about to get the first woman ever to win in UKC today. Look at that, that's the championship leader there, struggling, he's in sixth place, there he is, yep. coming down under the drone. Kenzo so, Craigie. Kenzo Craigie, championship leader, not having it all his own way today, And he's going to lose sure. the place, that's Jarek Clark going to go through, Kenzo Craigie's not got a lot of response, tries to come back in on the inside, but that's a perfectly clean move from Jarek Clark, and now he's struggling to keep Charlie Wolfert and Ethan Griffiths at bay. Here comes the 40, that's Oliver Majewski, trying to get through on Kenzo Craigie as well. You say Majewski, I say Majewski, tomato, tomato, <laughs> potato, potato. He's certainly a fast driver, whichever way you look he at it. He is, no doubt about it, whatever you call him, he's quick. Four and a half seconds is the gap between Fairclough and Mead, and there goes the number 40, picking up another sensational move. Majewski, 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 however you want to go for it. A brilliant battle. And the 67, Kai Clark, has managed to get himself up into 13th place after that earlier spin. So at least he is now starting to get himself back in amongst the midfield. But he's going to run very short on time. Bella Fairclough, though. History, history is in the making here. We have been in the UKC now for three seasons, and we have yet to see a woman on the top step of the podium. We've come close a few times. We've seen how strong Olivia well, Reynolds has been Olivia from time Reynolds. to time. Oh, and bouncing off the wall, a very angry Ethan Griffiths there, absolutely fuming as he gets back on the circuit. As I said, we've come a few close a few times with Olivia Reynolds, with Katie Donaldson, and with Sophie Kinghorn. A few close calls, but this could be the first time and Bella Fairclough, I've been absolutely shouting about her all season long. She is a serious cookie in this championship. Diving through on the inside, that is the move again. And I think that's uh, another overtake, this time on Jarrett Clark. So it's going to be very tight to the end of this one. Charlie Wolfitt trying to shake off Majewski. And in the 82, Charlie Warren trying to pick up an overtake in the closing stages of this Honda Cadet Super Final at Clay Pigeon. As we watch the 47, Ryotaro Sakai desperately trying to shake off Rocco Shenton. This is the penultimate lap. Bella Fairclough, Jake, you're right. I know you've been talking Bella up to me for the last, what, 18 months or so, I think. You, you yep. mentioned her, I think it was the first time 18 months ago. And she is delivering for you this weekend, that's well, for sure. This is the moment we are about to see a new star, a new female rock star coming through in UKC. Domination in victorious fashion from Bella Fairclough as she comes through, going into the last lap. This is an absolute hell-raising drive from Bella Fairclough as the rest of the field has no response. And we were talking about Katie Donaldson and Olivia Reynolds being in the W Series in 2032. 
Here's another lady who I think we're going to have three drivers out of this championship in the W Series in 2032. Scrub that. Look, she's six seconds clear of all the lads. Forget the W Series. You could probably see her in the World Endurance or IndyCar one day, maybe even Formula One. She's doing a sensational job out of the final turn, and it's victory for Bella Fairclough. She takes it from Noah Barham and Jaden Mead. Sakai, Shenton, Jarrett Clark and Majewski, then Charlie Wolfett, Charlie Warren and Championship leader Kenzo Craigie. But making up 16 places, Fairclough makes UKC history. Well, they started on a track that was absolutely soaked from the rain that had fallen earlier. And now as we see it at the end of the race, it is bone dry. Well done to all those Honda Cadet drivers there. In third place, Noah Barham. In second place, Jaden Mead. Well done to both of those drivers. But I'm really pleased and proud to say for the first time in UKC, a female driver has put themselves on the top step of the podium. So full credit to Kart 63. Bella Fairclough. That zip car awning with Earl and Luke and all of the guys in it will be absolutely rocking tonight. Well done, Bella. Let's go and see what she had to say at the podium. Bella, history maker this weekend. First female to win in the Ultimate Karting Championship. You came close at Glanny Gorse and it all went away, but I sort of was feeling with a couple of laps to go, you, you must have known it was all over at that time. Yeah, well, Glanny Gore, was, it, was, it was a good race, but this track I really love, especially in these conditions. I started 17th, came first. Well, that's really good for me, I think. Yeah, and that's, and that's even better, isn't it? It's not, not just the case that you won, but you yeah. started 17th. To come through and win comfortably, what a fantastic result for you. Apart from your driving skills, who's responsible for this weekend? Uh, my dad and Zipcup for just helping me out, and my friend Eva for being on WhatsApp, just giving me advice. OK, well done. Your first appearance in UKC this year, so decent result for you, I guess. Yeah, it was. It was quite a tough race, but we got there in the end. And who do you want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank Synergy, Elite Driver Management, my mechanic Graham Hill, uh, and Mike and Rob and Danny. OK, well done. We started 15th. Uh, we made our way uh, through the pack, what was really tricky. Uh, first lap helped us a lot, everyone being close together. And, um, and then we got up second and then we started to make a gap. OK, 15th to third, obviously a lot of that is down to you as the driver, but who are the people surrounding you that have helped you? Um, uh, uh, Noah Barham, uh, Bella Fairclough and Ethan Griffiths. Slightly confused by my question, I think. I was expecting him to say, oh, my mum, my dad and the team. But uh, anyway, Kenzo Craigie leads the championship, moving forward to the final round. Rocco Shenton will deliver all the pressure, though. You can absolutely guarantee it. The top ten on screen, rounded out by Ryan White. Well, that brings us to a close here at Clay Pigeon Raceway. And what a backdrop it was for some super fast, super exciting racing. Join us next time for the season finale when we'll be heading to Three Sisters Circuit in Lancashire and when we'll be officially crowning the five class champions in the Ultimate Karting Championship. But until then, from all of us here in Dorchester, see ya.